I went to the premiere for Zack Snyder's new film, Rebel Moon, and this is going to be my non-spoiler review, so here's what I thought of it. I thought it was pretty good, like, I was entertained, I enjoyed myself uh, a fair amount, so that's the main positive for the movie, because I'm not, I'm not the hugest Snyder fan, but yeah, I actually quite liked this, quite liked all the combat, liked all the locations and, and the different kind of sci-fi things that were in there obviously very star wars influenced but there's also some firefly slash serenity and also a bit of farscape as well so it does do a good job of kind of looking like its own thing a bit of the world building though isn't that great there is a lot of flashbacks to fill you in on certain things now those flashbacks are good but the world building is 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 kind of subpar it, it has to uh they have to tell you about things in different ways because uh, they're trying to kind of almost do too much which is a bit of a shame also the plot is very kind of well basic it's your your seven samurai setup but it's so basic that it doesn't allow for any of the characters to develop and it doesn't even really allow you to find out much about any of the other characters i remember there's one specific bit um near the climax of the movie that's when you find out like about some of the other characters or what their backstories actually are which i was quite surprised by but on a positive note the action is very Zack snyder so if you like <laughs> his style of action you're gonna enjoy what gets seen here um there's a lot of close quarters combat so a lot of hand-to-hand -hand stuff a lot of like close gunny kind of gun stuff like it's very violent but it's very bloodless as well there's like no blood anywhere even though the most brutal things are happening right in front of you it's very interesting how to do it there's some parts where someone like gets shot in the head and it's uh it's out of focus when it happens uh, and it is a few times and it's actually pretty cool how they pull it off but i would like to see uh, a version that was full of blood as well but but yeah that's pretty much my thoughts non spoilery thoughts i can't really speak about much else without going into spoiler territory which i'll i'll do at a later date but yeah i i kind of like enjoyed this to a degree for its simplicity but then that was also its hindrance as well because it it really didn't get to develop the characters there whatsoever so yeah that, those are my general thoughts on uh, on rebel moon which you can check out on netflix i think it's uh december the 22nd